CBS's hit show, NCIS, has an all-new episode tonight directed by one of their beloved stars, Rocky Carroll. I sat down with him to learn more about this episode and what it was like working on the other side of the camera. Take a look. Welcome to Daytime Buffalo, NCIS star Rocky Carroll. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. How's the weather in Buffalo? Actually, we're having a good day for once, <laughs> and we're excited about it. <laughs> Okay, so you joined the NCIS cast in 2008, I believe, so season five, and now we're on season 20. What's it like being on such a long-running and iconic show? Well, you, when you start a show at the end of season five, you immediately think to yourself, I'm probably getting in on the tail end of this series. Uh, I did the last four episodes of season five, and I thought, hey, if we make it to season seven, this has been a really good run. <laughs> um, and that was that was 15 years ago, and I'm about to start my 16th season. So when, every time I say it out loud, I'm still like, you have to pinch yourself because, you know, shows don't run that long. You know, and I jokingly say all the time, most careers don't last 16 years. So, you know, it's 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 incredible. Um, and the fact that we're not just we're not just hanging on that we're still you know, we're still doing great in the ratings. It's It's got a worldwide audience. Um, you know, a few years ago, I went to Europe and I stepped off a plane and I heard all this commotion. And I thought, well, you know, there must be somebody from a band or something on the plane. And they were, they were it was actually, they were they were saying hello to me and I couldn't believe it. So um, the, the worldwide um, uh, love for this show is incredible. And, you know, and we're, we're still going. We're about to start season 21. Incredible. Um, I'm sure your real fans know, but for some of the viewers that aren't aware, you've actually directed over 22 episodes, including the one we're going to see tonight. Um, what made you explore being on the other side of the camera? You know, I've been asking myself that question quite often. <laughs> Sometimes when we're in about the 10th hour of shooting and I'm and I'm running on fumes, I'm thinking, well, why did you ask to do this again? What was, what was your purpose? It's, it's, um, it's an incredible experience. I, at, at this stage in my career, you know, I've, you know, I, I first set foot in Hollywood 33 years ago as an actor, and to now uh, be a part of something and be behind the camera, learning the craft of directing. And I still, I still tell people, I feel like every time I do an episode of the sh of our show, I, I learn something new about directing. So to feel like I've learned a new language and that I'm, you know, something that I didn't start out. Uh, doing initially, but it's now such a part of me. I love working with the actors and I love the confidence that the actors have knowing because I'm an actor that I will understand and respect whatever process they have as actors. Absolutely. And you kind of touched on it, but ha does your acting experience sort of influence your directing or vice versa? Uh, yeah, I, I, both. Uh, but most definitely, I and I assume the role of director. Like an actor, I when I when I'm directing, I assume the role of director. So that means, look, no, no matter what happens, no matter if things start to go sideways, whether we've got a delay for lighting, for sound, or whatever it is, my job as a director is to make sure that everybody knows we're going to shoot, we're going to make the day. This is going to be a great episode. The scene's going is going to be perfect, and I'm you know, and if if my energy is positive, then it trickles down to everything else and it makes the day seem a lot shorter. So I, I just like it when I'm playing a role on television, I assume the role of director. Mm -hmm. Now, like we said, and you touched on it, this show has been long running, great ratings. People, like you just said, all over the world watch it. What do you think it is about NCAS that just makes people really resonate with it? You know, I've, I've been asked that question many years uh, uh, over the over the last few years, but I really like I really think that there's a simple justice uh, the main character, you know, our initial main character, uh, Gibbs, who was played by Mark Harmon so wonderfully. This character had such a, a moral compass, and I believe that we all have a, have our own sort of moral compass, but he had an innate sense of right and wrong. Mm -hmm. He lived by rules. He, Gibbs had his own set of rules. And I think what people respond to in this show, like they used to respond to when Westerns were all over TV in the 60s and the 70s, there's something very, uh, very good and very reassuring about simple justice that, you know, right will win out. And at the end of that, and the end of that hour, the bad guys are going to be brought to justice by the good guys. And I think that's something that the people, we crave it and we, we, you know, because it doesn't always happen in real life, but you know, it's going to happen on NCIS. Absolutely. Now you kind of touched on it, I think, but what part of yourself 
do you bring to your character, Dr. Vance? Because he's been such a staple to us. I grew up watching the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there's, you, you bring all sorts of aspects to your, you know, I think Vance is a combination of every 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 acting teacher, every director, every, every mentor that I had growing up um, who basically would take nothing short of excellence, um, uh, would accept nothing short of excellence for me as an actor. Um, you know, I, and it's really, I am paying homage to a, a lot of my um, teachers and mentors that I had growing up, because if I didn't have somebody who, you know, who, who you know, who, who kept me on the straight and narrow, I wouldn't be sitting here talking with you right now. Mm -hmm. What can we expect to see from tonight's episode? Well, tonight's episode is aptly titled In the Spotlight. Um, Katrina Law, who plays Special Agent Jessica Knight, makes a daring rescue from, uh, she rescues a, a, a mother and son from a fiery car crash. Uh, and, you know, just a natural instinct. She witnesses, she sees it happen, she jumps into action. And of course, in the world that we live in now, somebody watching it has a camera phone and they capture it all on a cell phone. And the video goes viral. She comes to work, she works, she's trying to solve a murder case, but everywhere she goes, everybody's stopping and pointing at her because she's the lady in that viral video. Right. So uh, it, it basically, we're dealing with the um, kind of very much like what happens, you know, every day in our society now. What happens when your life goes viral when all of a sudden you're the, you're the, you're the person that everybody's talking about. Um, so uh, it's, it's a very good episode. I'm really proud of it. And uh, I'm, I'm sure audiences will love it. Thank you so much for chatting with us, Rocky Carroll. Viewers, you can tune in to NCAS airing tonight to see your directed episode at 9 right here on Channel 4, or you can watch episodes on Paramount+. Plus. Thank you again. My pleasure. My pleasure.